Morning. Morning. Zo, so, big day. Right? You're ruining all the surprises. Oh. Then uh, cut it out. Then, now they know everything. Then cut it out. Yeah, but it's a vlog. You don't cut anything out. It's real life. It's our, it's the okay. daily struggle, Marcia. Okay. Well, so I, why I, you walk away? Then I if just you're trying to put you in frame, you yeah. walk away from the frame. Yeah. That's not so, a good uh, idea. Yeah. I'll, yeah. So two things wrong. I'll just stop talking. You do the leading. Yes. Yeah. Pick. Yeah. yeah I'm not saying anything. Oh. <laughs> the, but the bigger problem that we're going to have to uh, solve yeah. is where. We can do it under the roof, but I don't want to. No. I want to do it like in the open air. It's better for you and it's better for me, and it's probably better for the pig. But because we can have the fire as big as we want right here. Yeah. And if we don't do it here, then. So worst case scenario, what if we have to move it because it's we raining? can. Huh? We can. Yeah. If 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 it's going to rain, we're going to do an emergency. Uh, that's why I bought this whole thing. Yeah. Two gloves on both sides. You and me. Yeah. Some. Pick it up. Get the big blo locks out, and then we pick it up and move it. And I have to consider if if the wind starts blowing, yeah. things might change. It's kind of super exciting day. I, I'm, I was really looking forward to it, and um, the, everything is going to be absolutely awesome because it's. First of all, it's going to be experience to do this, and it's kind of cool because it's the first time here at the barn that I'm doing it. And I get to work with open fire, and I love that. So that's why we had to get a different sponsoring for that video. Um, but the cool thing is that this wild boar, locally shot from my local butcher, well, you're basically seeing me now, but look, that beauty's been hanging there for a week, and now we get to cook it, and it's so exciting. First thing I want to do is get a fire started because I want to build like a good base of embers. Basically, a, a real big log fire is no good. It's not going to help you when you want to cook asada sala on a cross. What you need is a big bed of embers and you only get that when you're burning wood for a longer period of time. So we need to burn a lot of wood, build up the embers and I'm using beech for that. And the beach is like super strong, heavy, thick, and it's going to give us perfect embers. It doesn't make a lot of ash, but it makes a lot of embers. And that's what we need. So I think Morrison's about ready. Almost. Getting the kit, camera kit ready. And then we can get started. What's going on? What's going on? <laughs> Eva will never walk away from a wild boar. There's something with them, it's like the smell or something. She's, it intrigues her. But seeing a whole animal, I don't know if she really enjoys it like it is, but it kind of intrigues her and she always wants to be close. I got the fire started, looking good. We need to burn all of this down into embers. And we can't even think about starting until we have that bed of embers, because otherwise we're just gonna have flames and flames are gonna burn the outside and not cook the inside. And that's a no-no in asado. So now I'm gonna butcher the pig, the wild boar. And the funny thing about my butcher is, he told me, well, we, we did this together, like a while ago, I think it was. A couple last, months. Last, wasn't it last Winter. year? Winter time, last year or something. And he kind of taught me how to do it, but he only showed me once. And this time I said, well, we'll do it together. And he said, no, 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 I showed you how to do it. Now you do it yourself. <laughs> and that's really awesome. But uh, yeah. That means this might take a while. Of course, I can manage, you know, I know the theoretical way of doing it, but I don't have like nearly the skills that he has. Like for something like this to go really fast, you gotta do it at least, I don't know, a hundred times or so. But the one important thing I learned from him is that gravity is your friend. So I hung up my wild boar and he's probably gonna tell me I did it completely wrong, but I hung it up from the heel and I'm working from that side all the way down and what you don't want to have, have happen is that like if you get the hairs the outside of the skin back onto the wild boar so that's also one thing to take into consideration I think what a good thing to show is that you actually only using the point you're not using anything else from the knife no just the point and gravity my weight on the skin so guys now you can do it as well. Yeah, we Go ahead. You. Yeah, we showed you how to do it. So Go do it. Like if you want to learn how to butcher a wild boar, take it apart, 
like of course the hunter already feel dressed it so all I gotta do is just take the jacket off and make sure that I make it look as pretty as I can save as much meat as I can and that, I think that that's getting the guts out is a whole different level then yeah but it's doable yeah but you just like you don't want to puncture anything like here you can see I did this wrong you see this is cut this piece and that's exactly what you don't want to do. What do you think? I think it's time lapse time. No, it's not time lapse time. Yeah, it is. People want to see this. I'm I got, I gotta film everything. Butcher. Yeah, man. Yeah, this real time. Every. Who wouldn't watch it? Who wouldn't want to see that? The other. Point. You wanted everything to film and no it's time lapse. Heavy. And I don't have a good shot now. All right, so we'll do the time lapse. Sorry, guys. Somehow always people know that something's going on and they, <laughs> this time a butcher stopped by to talk to about certain projects, thinking about it, it's like a big restaurant butcher and uh, they deliver mostly to the main restaurant shops, like the wholesalers. But um, he helped me take the jacket off and now we have this beautiful animal hanging here. Ready to go on the cross, so I'm gonna find Morrison and I'm going to take this beautiful animal just a little bit of water, clean this off, get like a few hairs off that excellently got onto the skin on the meat. But look at that beauty. Isn't that gorgeous? What are you doing? Uh, well, I planned to make uh, two videos, but actually that's not gonna happen because we're having too much fun with our wild boar. And I got all these ingredients left, but I, I never know which chorizo to get. So like I got some dry, dry chorizo and that we're gonna do a quality test because there's so much different in chorizo. Sometimes I just love it and sometimes I hate it. It's like, it's like, um, I totally agree. I want my chorizo to be spicy, but at the same time I wanted to like, just look at this. This is totally different, right? This is not the same thing. Yeah. And also sometimes you have these, this chorizo that's like really chewy and I, I don't really like that. I, I know that sometimes it should be like that. Okay, first one, try it. I'm not gonna tell you what is what. Mm -hmm. I like this one. I like this one too. Oh my. Come to your mouth. Here comes the second one. This is good. Also a good one. Yeah. Different, but for me it's... it's I like the first one better. Is it? The first okay. one has more flavor. The second one is more like um, a rustic and type. It has, the, the second one has kind of like a smoke flavor to it, which doesn't belong in chorizo that's not been smoked. And it's probably the smoked paprika. But they put a lot of smoked paprika in the sausage. I think maybe two hours went by? No. Two hours more than one hour? Since what? Since the last update. Burning wood, beautiful embers, beautiful fire, good looking result. This is just sexy. Green thingies, but good, good green thingies. And look at the beautiful color of the, the browning on the meat. Yeah. Isn't that sexy? That's the most beautiful color combination you can ever have. We could actually cut this off and eat this already. Okay, let's do it. Like the ribs. Okay. I'll get you a knife. Let's do it, right? Yes. Oh, this is so close to being done. What a beauty. Look at that, perfect color, nice and brown, red, looking good. Looking good, Marcin? Oh, looking so good. This is an awesome piece of work. It turned out so amazing. We just tried it. Together with our local butcher, Gert Jan. It was good? Very good. See, very good. <laughs> That's all you need to know. Uh-oh. Lock door. Like, he knows his business because he knows people steal meat. That's why he locks the door. Especially with big white wolves around. Meat hungry wolves. Oh. That's a new meat. New meat. I was getting really worried that, that we were running out of meat. 
because that little piggy went out of the fridge and now luckily we're on stock again. He's even better than IKEA because he puts it in the fridge himself. IKEA just drops it at the door. Yeah. This is like a continuation of the project that we have right here. There are already two in. This project is getting bigger and bigger. A third one is going in. A little bit more. Uh, 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 Eva. Eva. Yeah. Right. One more out. Beef in. Beef in. Cabinet filled up again. It's magic. Whew. Yeah. Close call. I was getting like empty cabinet anxieties. All right. Well, that's it for today. See you guys next time. Whoa! I couldn't see the food anymore. I had to do. Who something. are you? I had, to, I, I had to do something. I don't even know you anymore. No? What's that thing on your face? Eva is happy to see me. She knows. She knows. Yeah, I couldn't see food anymore. Is man. this still more than Eva? <laughs> see, she's hiding. The grill's now running hot, and look, everything is nice and black. And I'm gonna use my baking spray and kind of sear off that grill grate. Whoa! <laughs> So, I'm guessing it's hot enough. We get it nice, even coat. A baking spray on. And once it's burned, it basically creates a seal and we're not getting any rust on it. Well, that's looking good and I think I'm gonna give it a few more minutes to bake off all of that baking spray and then I'm gonna let this run cool down and um, yeah I think we might getting close to burning up all that charcoal so that's gone I'm gonna give it a last, last wipe off and then I'm gonna store it the first video is on and basically this is our brisket wagyu brisket and look at that Texas style salt and pepper Got the meter thermometer in, it's running hot, running at 110, that's 225 in Fahrenheit. We're just gonna let this run on the burnout smoker and hopefully we're gonna get, I think around four or five-ish hours it should be done because it's not a thick piece, it's just a small flat piece which should be done rather quick. And then I'm gonna make this sauce, I'm gonna plate it up, it's gonna look so good. Ooh, Marson. It's the buffet. What do you got, bro? Oh god, it's big. It's big. It's big and beautiful. Yeah. So this this is going to be good. This is the one that I'm looking forward to, and we're going to put something in it, and herbs? that's magic. Herbs or secret herbs? It's not just herbs. It's not just herbs. It's magic. It's going to change everything. Change the world. Change the way we think about this steak forever. What just happened? We made. Well, I made a bold eagle steak accidentally accidentally this, this wasn't planned so i had this plan to make a ro rollade and basically we even did the voice over for a rollade for the shorts already uh oh because like i was making a rollade so basically let me tell you what happened this is a flank steak and i was yada 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 this is way too thick i'm gonna cut it in half so i took my big slicer and i went and then i opened it up and this happened and I thought, wow! Biggest steak in the world! Biggest steak in the world! And it looks like a bald eagle. Like, it's even got the tail and everything. Like, oh, oh. Okay. You see? What are you doing? Two years. I'm testing the cheese, which is the importance. If you're a chef, you gotta do your quality checks. I'm testing the cheese. This is two year old cheese. And an aged on wooden planks. Show us, show us how it looks like. I threw so, it away. So, hmm? No, 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 the cheese itself. It's all about this. It's all about this, baby. This is the money. The machine doesn't want to do it. But it works. Because this piece doesn't want to be cooked. Oh. It wants to be eaten as a whole. Mm. Mm. Oh, man. Do, do you hear it? It says eat me. All right, let's continue. What's going on? We ate a pepper again. No. I ate a tiny little piece of this pepper. 
It's a Madame Chinette. Yeah. So Madame Chinette is stupid. Don't do it. So I, I made this beautiful plate for the for the beautiful Wagyu brisket. Look, the thing is absolutely insane. So I had a hot sauce that I made for it, like barbecue sauce, and I thought I'm gonna put some peppers in. But they're not officially cooked yet. So I had this beautiful plate, which Morrison already destroyed. And I did too. And then we started eating like the brisket. And then we ate some flowers, which is already grazing. And then I thought, why not take a bite of the Madame Chinette? But now I know why not. That's why. Never eat the pepper on your plate. It's there for show. It's not for eating. <sighs> It's kind of a good thing, I know. <coughs> so, well, so this is how a ghost pepper feels, but then it's, it doesn't stop. Times like, 10. Like, I, I, I'm okay now, more okay than 10 minutes ago. Yeah. But imagine if it doesn't stop for hours and hours. That's how ghost pepper feels. That's not good. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not that guy. I'm not that guy, trust me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lekker. That's so good. That's tasty. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I'm eating yogurt. You're eating yogurt. This Because is self repair moment. I must say, <laughs> it's all gone now. It's totally like the Madame Chinette's yeah. not the crazy, it's, it's a hot pepper, but it's like not long term hot. Oh, oh, oh. What's he doing? Driving on my grass. Oh my god. Oh my god. Don't drive on my grass. I have I have, I have driving on my grass oh stress. No. What is going on? We're driving on my grass. Morrison, what what happened the last time you drove on my grass with the car? Oh man, we had a fight. We had a fist fight. I I could literally I could literally hurt you physically yeah. almost. Yeah. It's not you can't hit like if we were friends I would have hit yeah. you, but yeah. because you're my employee I can't hit you. No. That's like uh. You have, uh, uh, you're uh, protected by the contract. Yeah. If you ever on, on, on this property, don't drive over this grass. It's like, it does you more harm than, than hurting your dog. Yeah, you can hit my baby. Yeah. But you can't hit my grass. You, you can kidnap his children, kidnap the dog, kill everybody here. But no, 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 don't, don't drive over this grass. I'm not gonna deny it. I'm not, I'm just not, I'm no. not. We're about to put this, the steak on. But now look, I made some mushrooms. Look at the size of these mushrooms. It's insane. Look, compared to Morrison's head, they're bigger than your head. For me, they look really tiny because I'm I'm watching everything in the fish eye right now. Look, look at how big they are. They cover my whole hand. They're so big, insane. I filled them with a little bit of green and then put some cheese on, so they're going to be they're going to be our snack. I think that's a good snack. I think it's healthy. So I got the Napoleon. She's running hot, hot. See that? That's hot. And that's why she's hot. <laughs> I'm gonna put the girl grade in, grill some steak. Morrison put the camera on. This is easy. Making YouTube videos is the easiest thing I've ever done in my life. And still, I mess up. <laughs> it's about time for the taste test. Ooh. That's so good, I'm so hungry. You ready, Morrison? Can yeah. we try? And we got all this goodness then still to do. Steak, oh man. <laughs> I'm such a lucky bastard. This is gonna be so good. Mm -mm -mm. See you guys on the other side. I don't know if you guys can see this. It's a belly. It's a belly. It's a portobello belly. I can see yours too. Yeah, it's a portobello belly. belly. It's like a mushroom belly, but also steak belly. And then also beaver belly. It's bigger than last year. Yeah, it is. <laughs> I'm enjoying life way more. Yeah, that's good. Enjoy life, enjoy your belly. It's um, it's good. Bellies are good. We should have a club for bellies. Bellies are good. The uh, yes, the bellies are good. Happy bellies. Happy bellies. Happy bellies. Oh, we can make socks. Socks. No. Happy belly socks. I don't like socks. Happy, happy belly socks. You never see them. Yeah. Always could be like a secret. Yeah. So then, if you want to get in, secret club. You just raise your uh, uh, trousers. Yeah. All right. It's starting to rain, guys. It's really sad, but it's the end of the day. Morrison and I, I ate about everything and everything that we didn't eat, the, the dog ate. So the food is gone, the happiness is gone. 
the bellies are full. I want to lay down, drink a beer, relax. So I hope you, I hope you enjoyed it and I hope to see you guys next time.